Yes, we're back. We're back again in Train Sim. We're back again on the Chatham Main Line, London, Victoria to Dover and Ramsgate. And we're going to say Ramsgate. If it's not Ramsgate, then it's the place. That, I think it's right. Is it Ramsgate? It's somewhere down on the, the coast thing. Maybe a gate with a ram near it. It's it's uh, we're hit back on this thing. The 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 one going between the Victorias and the and the south east. Southeast, that's the one. Uh yes, uh where last time we did scenarios number one and number two. Uh this is we're gonna do this 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 one and then another one. This is scenario three of the third one of the two that we did last time. No, there's three in total. We did the first two. This is the third one. And then we're going to do something else. Not There isn't a fourth one. We're going to do another thing. Anyway, we're here. If you're watching this on YouTube and are confused already, uh, hello. Uh, this also not going out on Railway Wednesday. Because I'm so far ahead with the content I've already got that I'm not going to put it out. It's on the Wednesday. It's going to go out on another day until I catch up on the other content. And then it's also going to start going back out again on the Wednesday. Yeah, I, the other content is fortnightly on a Monday is OMSI and then some other things on a Friday. I don't know anymore. Um, so, yes, hello to Trent, Nico, uh, Chris and Atlas. Uh, we're here at uh, Rochester in the class, whatever it is, 375, something like that. Uh, and we're going to go to Mepham. The, Mepham. Uh, and then it's going to be uh, Longfield, Bromley South and London, Victoria. Uh We've had to do the tabby thing to pass the signal at uh, the red, because apparently there's an issue. Uh, so we'll 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 do that and get going. Uh, CK, uh, thanks very much for the raid and welcome CK's people to what I'm sure is going to be a slightly random uh, video, because I'm in one of those moods. Stream video, stream video, video stream, video, whatever this is, the streamy. In the stream, one of those wet things that fish go in. Or is that a net? Could be a fryer for a fryer basket for a deep fat fryer. Could be one a pond. Could be a pond. What is this? Can't be a pond. It's got to be a stream. A river. Could be a river. Uh, yes. Good evening. <laughs> People coming in are going. What? What? I thought this was train sim. What's he talking about? What's going on? What's happening? Am I? Is it? Is the thing happening? Yes, all of the above. Uh, so yeah, we're, le we're leaving Rochester. We started this one. I think we did a, the first section, if I remember rightly, was from Dover to a place. Then we did the second section, which was another place to the same place we did in the first place, and then connected the trains together, which then we got to Rochester, not New York, uh, and now we're going to go to the Victorias. It's all coming back to me. They've listened to me waffling for three hours, so they're used to it. Oh, okay. Well, that's fair enough then. A water barrel. You could keep fish in a water barrel. If you kept them without the water in it, then I suppose technically it's still a water barrel. But is a water barrel still a water barrel when there's no water in it? That's a... It's just a barrel then. Anyway, let's uh, carry on to Mepham. The only thing I don't like about this, which we had last time, is it's very quiet in here. I'm having to put the volumes all the way up. So we'll stay in the outside view for a little while, because why not? Window open. Uh, yeah, that's open. And I'm doing the speedings. Uh, that one is also the open thing. Uh, there's the button I'm pressing wrong, that one. We'll give it some more of the volumes, it'll be fine. We're slightly being the speeding. Uh, so yeah, we're going to do this one, which is about 45, 47 some minutes. Uh, and then there's one that's 65 of the minutes in the networker. 465, the, the other one. We'll do that one. Because that's the thing. Uh, I've really enjoyed Yorkshire, actually. It, uh, yeah, it actually, uh, it surprised me. I'm speeding up. They're doing much of the earliness with the speeding up, aren't I? That's oh, fine. We're just minus 154 now. J 
John wouldn't know. Uh -huh. Well, the more you do, the more you level up, the more you'll be able to do. There's a train. That's very trainy. So someone commented yesterday about the whole, you know, whistle board thing. That hang on, we have got the whistle, haven't we? It's that one. Uh, that we should either be doing that when we're going through the, past the whistly board, or we should be doing the and not doing the because that's a horn. So until they change the 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 board to be a H. And I'm drawing the H on the screen here with me mice. Mices? Mice. Mice. Mouses. Ma moose. No, not a moose. Sticky moose? No. Ma mouse. Uh, to show you what a H looks like. You can have a, you have a lowercase H like that, see? Or you can have the capital H. Anyway. In, until they change the board to be... I don't know why I move my mouse around I'm talking. Until they change the board to be uh, a H, then I'm just going to do the, the whistly thing. Here it is. Hang on. Whistle. I missed the button. Hang on. There we go. <laughs> he drinks a lot of juice. He does. He drinks it in bed. If you're if you've got this far on YouTube, well done. <laughs> There'll be some links in the doobly doo below. Uh, one to where you can purchase this line, and it's a, actually it's in all seriousness for a, just a brief amount of time it's actually a very good route uh, there'll also be some links down there in the doobly-doo to the twitch page where you can watch this sort of mayhem live and why would you every wednesday on on the twitchy is uh, is the train sim and there'll also be a link in the doobly-doo to the discord server which is a place just full of well idiots quite frankly i need to get the routes and buses for the company and couldn't find it on list on omzi you're obviously doing something wrong. Have you got a folder within a folder? I will get this far. I watched all of the Edinburgh to London. You watched all of the Edinburgh to London in the Voyager. Were you, have you done the uh, the pacer from um, the uh, the Penzance to the Paddington yet? I was there for some of that. Most of that I was a recording. Very well timed recording. I just stepped away for a couple of hours and came back for the end. Basically, I've got it timed now. This is perfect. A place full of idiots. Oh, the the disc oh, that's yeah. the noise. Uh, the uh, the Discordy server is a place just full of idiots. Uh, Katie underscore a. Uh, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the um, well idiot idiot fest. Is that a word? could be but just it's, it's a speed there's a three-part scenario on the west coast mainline or the shop i've done those i'm sure i've done those i've got one of the um the things you know the other one what's the, what's it called the one where you do the posters and things and, rep and uh, repair the fences trains in world two uh, yeah, I've got one of those routes I haven't done anything with at all yet. So I might do that next week. Uh, can I be Canadian now? No, you're Alaskan. But thank you very much, Cryptic. 12 months. That's uh, that's nearly... 2, 4, I carry a 6, 8, minus the 4, plus the 12. That's nearly a year. My destination in front is where you just come from. Is it? Wouldn't be surprised. We're going backwards. What does it say? Victoria. That's not my name. Apart from on a Thursday. I nearly slammed the brakes on then. I did what when? It wasn't me. You can't prove anything. Right, so we're breaking, doing the thing, coasting with the earliness into Mepham. I'm guessing it's pronounced Mepham, because anything that's spelt like that isn't going to be pronounced Meopham, is it? Uh, what day am I, Barbara? Uh, the third Wednesday of the month. So we're lucky. Right, we're coming into uh, Mepham. 
Meop Ham. Uh, then we got Longfield. Never heard of that. I'm sure that's made up. Uh, then we got Bromley Saf, because you've got to pronounce it like that. Saf. Uh, and then you got London Victoria. When am I Susan? I've been Susan for four years. I was young, it was dark. Margaret? Margaret! Right. I'm in one of those moods today. It's just been like that. Bromley Saf. Too much chocolate. I've had no... Actually, no, I did. I've had a double-decker and a wagon wheel today. Which is technically... I just thought that's where I kept my lunch. you got to keep it somewhere. I can't get OMSI out of my head. Yeah, I'm just a bus freak through and through. Hang on, that's freak, isn't it? I'm just a freak through and through. Spelt with an F. Fru uh, fru. Uh, let's do the stopping at Mepham. Me up ham. Just one passenger. Oh, there's a couple down there. We're running late because I was just sat there before the stream. I ate a double-decker bus. Very small bus. What was the... Um, what was the, the, the advert with the, the King Kong eating the sweets? Didn't that pick up a bus? Chew it. Yes, chew it. That was it. Oh, chew it. All right, Longfield, 2.62 of the miles. That's the only thing with electric trains is that they're just... They're too quiet inside. No, uh, the Milky Way was the red car and the blue car had a race. All that red could do was stuff his face. Because he was a fat git. Used to love double deckers until they changed the recipe. What that TV show? The double deckers. For my time, obviously. Uh, where's Shortfield Station? That's where Nico gets on the train. Exactly. Smart old blue. He took the Milky Way. Double deckers are lollies as well. Are they? What? Covered in chocolate? So they're buses, chocolate bars and lollies. That doesn't get confusing at all. What's the lolly covered in the chocolate? It's also a gun. Don't lick a bus. Yeah, don't do that. Uh, hi, Terry. Welcome to just... I, I'm in one of those moods. The new guy used to be softer. And had raisins in the biscuit. That's the train we'll be driving... That one. That one there. It's the one we'll be driving in the next uh, scenario. Many people on buses lick the windows. Well, it's, yeah. I used to go and leave in the uh, asylum, are they? When you go to shop and ask Double Decker, so he gives you a model of London, but exactly! It should call it something else. It's not really. Why is it double. Hang on a minute. Why is a Double Decker the. I get that by the bus is called a Double Decker. Why Why is a chocolate bar called a double-decker? It's not like two of them, is it? It's not like Twix, where you've got the left side and the right side, and, you know, the right side tastes better. We all know that. Because um, it has two layers. Well, so is the Mars bar. The Mars bar's got two layers. You've got the caramelly bit and the chocolatey bit. Kit Kat's got two layers. Chocolate, the, the, the cat, 
Um, and then more chocolate. Are Mars bars still a thing? They they do they are they do exist. I have some in my fridge. I've realised that's what a salad drawer is used for. Chocolate storage. There's a breaking. Here's my salad drawer. Well, I'm going to call it a chocolate drawer now, really. Full of... Uh, what's in there? Some Twixes. There's some wagon wheels. Some Mars bars. Uh, above that, because I couldn't fit them in there, there's some bars of uh, Cadbury's Dairy Milk. That's some breaking. Alright, we made it to Longfield. As opposed to Nico Field. They had too many rings. Okay. That was trendy some years ago, wasn't it? I don't know if it still is, to have a ring on every finger. I don't know that became a trend. Anyway, Snickers has two layers as well, or Marathon, as it should be. Uh, your knee's got you one of those 850 gram bars. Oh no, I, I bought one of those 300 gram bars over Christmas. Um opened it and then looked round and it gone i don't i think i looked under the sofa i looked on the floor i don't know where it went uh right bromley saf is in 12 uh and 4 4.7 no 12.47 miles to remember mr tom peanut bar wasn't that the uh, film with um the the guy there was set in Oxford they drove the Jag <laughs> so, someone will get it <laughs> good night Mr Tom that's the one see I knew someone would get it that's a really good film actually see <laughs> you lot are all just if if my thoughts you start to get there's something wrong with you it's not me it's you your Jaffa Gates disappeared mysteriously you have to buy more I I think there's a thief I th actually I think they I think they evaporate I think that's, that's what it is you open that orange packaging and then uh, within five minutes whether it's just because the air gets to them they vanish I think they're being conned by McVitie's Inspector Wetmouse exactly do you buy trains in this game uh, you buy routes you can buy trains but you buy routes generally the route will come with the train uh, or you can buy trains as well to work on the roots they must react to the air exactly John has the same issue with wine he opens the wine an hour later the bottle's empty I'm sure it's there's a there's a problem there the Jaffa cake an hour <laughs> Well, I was giving you some credit then. Right, we're 11 miles from Bromley South. Yeah, next week we might do some trains in World 2. Because uh, there's one of the routes that I haven't done anything on and I can't remember which one it is. And the train will come with the route and the train with the train with the routes included. What? Sorry, now I lost myself on that one. Did I find out and eat my pizza? What pizza? Uh, Transpennine. Isn't that the stuff you take to get rid of uh, like infections? Oh, it's penicillin. Hang on. There is a link to Just Trains, I think. Exclamation mark. Just Trains? 
could be. Do not, under any circumstances, put exclamation mark Armstrong. Do, do, don't do it. Just don't do it. Do not do it. No, that's not, wasn't, yeah, don't, don't, don't click on that. No, yeah, exclamation mark Armstrong bracket isn't going to do it, Trent. Sir Topham Hat. Hang on a minute. Are you calling me fat? Is that what's happening here? I'm not as stupid as Crisp looks. There you go. Exclamation mark just trains. Technically it's not because they do flight as well, but you know. I am so azaming, am I? That's a word. I know I'm going under the speed limit thing, but you know. We're not in any hurry. Don't worry. No, that's don't hurry. It's quite a good word, is aiming. Is that that uh, exercise class? that you do to the music stuff. That's a Zumba. Or Zumba. Swanly. If you're a swan, your name is Lee. This is your stop. I know it said whistle, but I was nowhere near the whistly button. Because I'm out here, hanging on the side of the train like some sort of Bond person? Why do action films have people running along the roofs of trains? Why was that a thing? And why is there always a bridge that they have to duck under and sometimes the bad guy, the good guy sees the bridge coming, bad guy doesn't. Good guy holds up bad guy's head and bang! Or splats more like. So I start my ballet lessons again soon. Uh, did we have a light that was maybe a colour that it shouldn't have been? Nope, we're okay, we're all green. Here's the, uh, the Swanley. Oh, God, smack me on that. you got to have a witch about you. Wait, that, there was a word. Got to have your wits about you, even. Uh, tomorrow night, think this was random. Uh, tomorrow night, we're back in flight, uh, starting a whole new adventure. Uh, hang on, not for you watching on YouTube if you got this far, because tomorrow night you could be sat watching EastEnders. Tomorrow night, for those watching live, uh, we're starting a whole new adventure in MSFS, uh, flying across America. In uh, well, it should be the Kodiak for me. Um, but if I can start it, if I can't start it, it'll be the 208. Or your witch. Wit, 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 Stop, you can't make up words, Blinky. We, we ever, we ever, we ever. So expect the 208. Yeah, I can't start the bloody Kodiak. Tell me to get the Kodiak. I got it. It's very nice. Whichever. Okay. Uh, I couldn't start it. It ain't gonna be the Boeing, is it? Two hundred eight with improvement and NXI mods. No, standard two hundred eight. Unless I can start the thing. What I say, Kodiak. I could start the Kodiak in X plane. I thought it'd be the same in uh, the MSFS. It, it, it put fuel on. Put the ignition -y thing on, click the go, and nothing. Prop spins, nothing happens. No fuel getting to prop. I'm sure I put fuel in it. Uh, oh, we got a 60 of the limits coming up. Have I done a... Why have I not got the ability to do... Oh, I was pressing the wrong button, that's why. Where are we starting? Uh, somewhere in Maine. So we're going Maine, and we're staying out of Canada because, you know, I don't think Canadians like me. Um, 
and uh, flying across, uh, and then up. Well, actually, we, hmm, we want we got to get to Alaska really, because we've got to end in Juneau. Hey, I didn't crash the uh, the thing. What was we in last week? The uh, Airbus thing. I didn't crash that. Right, Bromley Saf is in uh, 2.95, 4, 1, 2.9, just under 3 miles. Fuel pump's on. I, put, I turned the fuel on. I think I put the fuel pumps on. We'll find out tomorrow. For those watching live, for those watching... No, on YouTube. No. Do London, St Pancras to Paris. Once the Channel Tunnel comes, and then people link it from um, thingy the 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 Faversham High Speed, the one down there. So you can actually you then be able to eventually, hopefully, be able to get a link across to uh, Calais. That would be quite cool in a pacer. Well, I think we said next year's long pacer trip is going to be London to Edinburgh. But not stopping at every stop. The Panjka Nugahood. Yeah. Okay, Trent. Alright, here comes Bromley South. Pacer, good. Me, Trent, Pacer, good. Good Pacer. Pacer, good. <laughs> Trent's a man of few words. Well, he should be. He tried putting ten Pacer sets together once, but train sim crashed. Uh, shouldn't be any reason why you couldn't do that. Okay, into Bromley, here we come. I thought one of the trains supposed to stop when the other one passes. This doesn't seem very realistic. This is extremely realistic. Uh, when you've got four lines, you've gone up slow and up fast, a down slow and a down fast. So we'll only get stopped if something in front of us stops. Ah, okay. That would explain it then. He started at a bear, and it was several PCs ago. Me, Trent, English, bespeak words. Words, me, Trent. Trent special, by the way, if you are new to the streams. It's like the uh, stream pet. Just don't feed him after midnight, don't get him wet. All right. Word plus trend equals cringe. There you go. Uh, okay, here we are at Bromley then. Get on a train. Don't get on a train. Go to work. Don't go to work. Plan B. Booster. Strange hair. English is not your strong point. Uh-huh. Right, we have made it to uh, Bromley Saf, or Information, as it's called here. Open the doors. So we've only got uh, the Victorias to go. And then this scenario is done. It should be a 47 minute scenario, which is part of the reason why I picked it, but also because we didn't get this far last time. Because if we had it done, I'd be doing it again. And that would be stupid. Oh, 
We will wait for these people to get on the train and then we will depart. London Victoria, platform 5. Next stop, London Victoria, where this train will terminate. I just said that. You're not listening to me when I said the whole London Victoria thing? I've got to get my view back. Hang on. Bear with me. Forward. How are you doing? London Victoria via Bromley South. Oh, I'm going to smack my head on a thing. Hang on. City Wines. That's my view there, John. Do you need a bracket, Pussa? No, definitely not. I had one of those once, the leg fell off. Alright, so London Victoria is our next and final stop for this scenario. Don't hit your head on the gantry. Oh, okay, I missed that gantry. Gantry to the face. Uh, so yeah, stream's coming up the next few days then for those watching live. Not for those watching on YouTube because they've already happened. Um, tomorrow, say, back with some uh, MSFS uh, doing the uh, the Flight America thing. Uh, what's the day after tomorrow? Friday, uh, back with farming. In the, in the farming. Uh, Saturday lunchtime, I've got no idea what yet. I can't think that far ahead. Uh, Saturday night is um, the uh, ETS-2 carrying on our trip in Scandinavia, uh, heading north. Uh, Sunday lunchtime, more farming. And then next week, Tuesday, American trucking. Wednesday, more of the trains. Thursday, more of the flying. And then things and things and things. I'm on, on TV. But get off it, you'll break it. those watching in the future is it normal yet the day after tomorrow is a film by the way well Friday the film called Friday it probably was actually see a queue of trains going the other way Friday the 13th. Yeah, I, I wouldn't watch that. No, no, no. No, no, no. Not doing it. Why Why would you watch a film that scares you? No. If I want to be scared, I'll look at the picture of... Uh, uh, Rich from the uh, Discord. Yeah, there's definitely a queue of trains going that way. There is a movie called Friday. Really? Wasn't that... Um, who was the person in a film called Friday? Robinson Crusoe? Was it Robinson Crusoe? Could be. I wonder how these things get completely out of hand and how they get quite random. Man Friday, exactly. Joe Friday from Dragnet. Well, that in, it was in that. That was uh, Matey Boy. Was he in Dragnet? The guy from uh, the Ghostbusters and the Blues Brothers. Dan Aykroyd. Was he in Dragnet? And Tom Hanks. Yes. Dan Aykroyd was brilliant in the blue. I need to watch the Blues Brothers. We were reciting lines from Life of Brian today at work. Uh, I really want to watch Life of Brian again. I love the Blues Brothers. Blues Brothers 2000 actually was quite good as well. Uh, this is Chatham Mainline, London Victoria to Dover and Ramsgate.
shake its tail feather. Well, I can't do that. I'm sat down. It's a really good route, actually. I'm really impressed with the uh, scenarios we've done so far. This is the third one we've done. We will do one more once we've done this one, because we can't start another one until we finish this one, because that's the law. This is quite a long tunnel. Are we going under the channel? You're downloading Train Sim now. Enjoy. That was a binging noise. And not the Chandler kind. We're on a mission from God. I could do the, I could do the twist, but with track IR would move around. Uh, it's not Diesel, no. That's the only downside, really. But it's fine. That's why I've been in outside view, because it's uh, the noise is the better one. They can actually hear something going on. Well, this isn't really going to be a 47-minute scenario, is it? I'm running late as it is. So I'm running four, three, three minutes late. Why to train sim? Just completely... They're worse than MSFS. They're just making up numbers. Yep, this is going to be a two-hour flight. Hour later. We're here. Oh. Uh, we've got to do a slowing down thing now. To the 45. We are going to be a record RPM. Or Ed's age. Uh, about 30 years ago. It is a rabbit hole of a sim. Uh, I've said this on numerous occasions. That if I had to do one genre of uh, simming and one only it would be train sim despite the fact how much I'm loving farm sim I think because of the variety of routes in locations and a variety of trains and times of day and scenarios I just don't think you could get bored with this I don't think you could ever do every scenario of every route you just you couldn't do it I think there's only been a handful of all the routes I've got that I've actually completed all the scenarios on. Because it'd be a lovely challenge to do, but I've never done it. Alright, you got 45 limit. Yeah, I did a route which stated it's three hours, turned out to be just about an hour. I know, it's bizarre, isn't it? It's like they just make up a time. How long we say this? I'll tell you, three hours. It's almost like they don't actually do the route and then go, oh, look, we'll call it an hour. Which is a pain. If I'm trying to do something for a stream and go, right, two hour route, perfect. Hour and 20 minutes later, we're done. Like, oh. Flaces hope, indeed. train waiting places yeah saying it twice makes it even better uh, you missed uh, you missed a couple of M's and an F, F out there clinky but I think I work out what you mean uh, yeah we'll see how that works tonight tonight tomorrow I will complain. I'll write a letter to Mr. Train Sim. Dear Mr. Train Sim, can you please sort out your route timings? Thank you. And also change the, the w boards for h boards. Because it's a horn, it's not a whistle. Where's this? Where are we? That's a place. Doesn't even exist. Brixton. Oh. So yeah, it is supposed to be a 47 minute scenario. 
I've been going under the speed limit. I'm going to arrive three or four minutes late, yet the whole scenario is going to take... Well, considering I, I had to start the stream and do all that stuff, you'd probably be lucky if it takes 40 minutes. So you'd have probably completed a 47 minute scenario in about 35 minutes if I'd have been on time. But it's fine. Griff, thank you very much for that four months that's nearly three months that's awesome of you thank you indeed how's the new year treating me i'm still confused as to what day it is i'm now incredibly tired getting used to doing the whole work thing again looking forward to the weekend but yes thank you very much griff Right, so we're only two miles from Victoria. We are going slow because I don't care. Have you missed any madness? Nope, been a perfectly normal stream so far. Nothing out of the ordinary at all. A very debatable. Is that when you dab on a table? Or the day might fall off. Bingo dabbers. Debasti. Okay. Yep, yeah, that's also a word. Uh, right, so we're only 1.8 miles away from uh, Victoria. There's the, uh, the Battersea Power Station in it. Where you've now got uh, Battersea Station Station. Or Battersea Power Station Station. Why well, they just couldn't call it Battersea Power. And then Station, but okay. See, that's quite cool. We've got the lines running round there, down there. This is where multiplayer in Train Sim would be so cool. Because you could have one of these lines uh, and then just go, okay, I'm going to take a route from there. So you could have trains coming down there, you could be going across here and down there. That would be awesome, wouldn't it? You'd have one big map. I'm off to see the Queen. S player go this what did that say? He's doing a Batsy Dogs home. That's back uh, there somewhere. mile to go uh, yes I did hear that Just Trains we're doing Trains in World 2 content I do like Just Trains stuff Across the river we go. Ain't going south of the river. It's night time of night, Gav. Right, we have some yellows. I did slow down quite early, I think. A 
We're only going to arrive like six minutes late. It's all right. This is the only thing here, isn't it? When you get these routes in train sim, that there would be a lot more trains here. This would just be chock-a-block, wouldn't it? There'd be trains going backwards and forwards, in and out. All the lines would be busy. You know, certainly a, a big old terminus like this. And here, nothing. In fact, it's not like I can just suddenly turn left, is it? Right, we've got a single yellow. My wheel is in front of me and connected. Uh, won't really do a lot in this though, will it? Alright, so when we come to Victoria. So this is finishing off the third scenario from the three well the third of the three scenarios we did the first two in the last stream uh, now we're going to do another scenario in the other train uh, which is about 65 minutes so that'll work out quite nicely thank you very much thank you very much but yeah I actually really like this line that's a noise That's definitely a noise. So yeah, if you're new to the streams, every Wednesday we do something in Train Sim or Train Sim World 2. Uh, Thursdays, for the foreseeable future anyway, will be flight. Uh, Fridays will be farming. Uh, Saturday evenings is trucking. Um, and Saturday lunchtime, something single player. And alternating on a Tuesday, between OMSI one Tuesday and American Trucking the other Tuesday. Uh, that's scheduled in place, uh, I'd say probably till Easter, and then we'll, uh, we'll change it up again. There is, <laughs> yeah, just a load of people sat on the wall just scraping bits of metal. Uh, I didn't do any of the Christmas gifts on trucks. Because whenever we take a job in uh, in the streams, we never deliver it to where it wants to go. So it's pretty pointless. Yeah, this is the train. We got not that exact one, but well, actually it is, but not that one. Doesn't make any sense. We, a train like that is the one we're going to drive in the next scenario. One of those things. All right, into Victoria Beckham we come," said David. Uh, right, open the doors. No one's got this far on YouTube. Who are we kidding? It's fine. <laughs> I told you, it's one of those. The platforms are bending it like Beckham. Well done, driver. You've arrived on time at London, Victoria. No, I wasn't. I was late. And uh, I've given plenty of time for this train to be prepared for the next service. I was late. Uh, yeah, late. Late, 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 late. I wasn't on time. It doesn't actually say, oh, because I didn't, I failed, didn't I? <sighs> right. So that was that one. Uh, let's go and do the, uh, it's not that one, is it? This one. No, it's not that one. That one. Uh, yeah, 47 minutes. Considering we've only been streaming for 49. 
Do you like Train Sim 22 better than Train Sim Mod 2? Yes. absolutely. flipping lootly. Because you've got all of these routes and all of these scenarios. And you don't get routes that are uh, 160 minutes long in uh, in Train Sim World 2. Or 180 minutes long in Train Sim World 2. Or we've probably got some more longer than that, haven't we? Where are we? We've, we've got somebody at like 360 minutes long. Uh, anyway, uh, we've got to find the next route. Uh, hi, Darko. Uh, train Chatham Mainline. That's what we're doing then. Class 465. Uh, yes, the graphics look better in Train Sim Mod 2, but Train Sim is a better game. Because of the fact that there's more routes, more trains, longer routes, which is the key thing. Uh, good morning, driver. That's me. Uh, welcome aboard this class 465 slash 9. Ooh. Uh, today we're taking this class 465 slash 9. Ooh. Uh, from Raynham to Ramsgate. We'll be calling at Sittingbourne, Faversham, and then all stations to Ramsgate. So you can't be bothered to write that then. Uh, due to engineering works between Rochester and Raynham, you'll be starting today's service from Raynham. There are currently no delays on the service today. Please allow passengers to board or ironing board for departing. <laughs> you played a route that was 240 minutes long on Train Sim World 2. You walked the whole way. I think the longest on Trains in World 2 is just over an hour, I think, isn't it? Trains in World 2 is not working on my Steam. It keeps freezing. Make sure your PC is powerful enough to run it. I'll open the window just so we can get some audio. We're frosting up. Can someone stop breathing, please? Thank you. We sat quite close, aren't we? That's better. Next stop, Sittingbourne. Uh, the light's red, though. I can't go anywhere. You can't play Train Sim because out of memory. Uh, verify your files on Steam. Yeah, but don't forget, we've had this discussion for the last couple of years. and not, you know, saying that your PC spec isn't up to much. Game was selling uh, PCs that they call gaming PCs. Just because a, a computer, laptop or whatever, um, can run Fortnite, um, doesn't, co doesn't mean it's a gaming PC. You've got Train Sim World 2 free. Uh, I don't think it's ever been on Epic or anything. Right, so wait for the lights to turn from that colour to another colour then. Fly anywhere in Europe. Okay. And nothing but oranges. It's on Game Pass. Well, it's not free, is it? Because you're paying for Game Pass. It was on Epic. Well, that's Train Sim World, not Train Sim World 2. Orange Boy is on a poster. Yeah, nothing but oranges. Where are we going anyway? Uh, Sittingbourne, Faversham, Whitstable, uh, Chesterfield and Sw what? Chesterfield and Swalecliff, Hearn Bay, uh, Birchington on Sea, Westgate on Sea, Margate, Broadstairs, Dumpton Park, and Ramsgate. And we've still got to wait for the light. To turn from that colour to that was horny. That colour's another colour. Is it actually? Well, can I can I tabulate? I can tabulate. Let's tabulate then and go. Hang on. We've got. Hang on a minute. I may not have done a thing here. Is it? I 
Okay, outside view it is then. So I've got an air raid siren. Duck. Alright, sitting born in 5.7 something of the things. Or all of the powers. Have we got an inside view? Well, we have. Actually, it's not bad, an inside noise thing. We've got my lights on. Lights on. Okay. Yeah, that, that's better. See if the other one would have been noise like this. Then I'd have been fine. We are steaming up a bit. I might have stopped breathing. A bit grubby in here, isn't it? Oh, where's the ping noise? Maximum speed, 75 miles an hour. Yeah, we'll see. I'm sure we can do quicker than that. Press the big red button in the middle. Well, that one, no. The machine that goes ping, indeed. Oh, it's sad. Very sad train. It's not too, not two stroke. No, I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. Not saying it. I'll say that for the next golf with friends. The rain effect could be better though, couldn't it? I suppose there's not a lot they can do about that. Tail light switch, marker lights. Okay. Oh, there's a corner. It is a very nice fruit, this. If you uh, if you're interested in purchasing it and you're watching live, if you put exclamation mark root, not the tree type, the, you know, going places type, uh, there will be a link there, magically, not root tree. Being British, you practically be a rain connoisseur. Uh, we don't mind a bit of rain. It's not the wrong weather, it's just the wrong clothing. We're adaptable, we can cope to... I know it said W, but I did a H uh, instead. Right, that was noisy. We're only uh, 1.7 miles from uh, sitting born. Actually, I think I could cope with driving this thing for a longer period of time. It's quite pleasant. Right, a mile to go to sitting born, the first stop. Uh, no, Griff. 
because I don't get time because I'm here. the place that I've been for three weeks straight every day. I'm not sure if that's devotion to the cause or madness. It's a very fine line I think somewhere there. Yeah, I think I've been here every day since the 14th of December. Yeah, every day since 14th of December. And will continue to be for another four days. Breaking. Experience luxury by a Range Rover until the electrics let you down. At least to experience luxury, I suppose, it just won't go anywhere. Twain! See, I know electric trains are good for the environment, I know they're better, they're more efficient, blah 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 blah, but they just they're just not the same as, well obviously not the same, they just, mm, diesels have got that something. They just have, haven't they? It's just, all this electric stuff is just like, mm, it's better for the passenger, yes, it's quieter, yes, but it's just got no soul. A bit like electric cars, isn't it? They've just got that, that something. It's just missing. Ain't got no soul. Is there another one? Another one what? Well, they did, yeah. Steam's got that thing. Yeah, and Steam fans complained when diesels came in because of the, the sort of steam era um, oh, there must be another one blinky but now we've gone away from diesels and canal boat uh, lover said about steam and now they're going electric as well Right, Faversham is coming up in 6.67 of the miles, which is uh, some of the miles. So five weeks five weeks could be five weeks uh, five weeks today which is going to be our Venn's day um, may do another longer train sim stream because it's a very special day and I won't be at work so I might do a longer journey uh huh Electric canal boats sound like a health and safety risk. <laughs> yeah. Drop the cable in. Zzz. Uh huh. Irish boy.
23 this year. I can't believe it. Where's the time gone? Drop the cable in the canal for free fish. I know, that is well old. That's why I'm quite going so slowly. That was a noise. Have we got a whir? No, we have got a whir. We'll do it. That. You need to download Pro Mods. Good luck. So an 80, then an 85, then a 90. So we're doing the speed, and then then uh, only four miles from Faversham. Is this the high speed line that we've now come on to? Because if we have, we're going to be slowing up a high speed train. Oh, I'm guessing we join it. No, we must join it at Faversham. I've answered my own question then. Yeah, but Faversham High Speed goes through Faversham Station. So we must go to the, the Faversham Station where the Faversham High Speed goes through. So we're near here. We're next to the high speed. That's Ashford. Well, why is Faversham High Speed called Faversham High Speed then? I shall write to Mr. Mr. Train Sim and tell him about his times, about his whistle boards, and now his Faversham High Speed. I need to rename that. It's not high speed when it's in Faversham, it's high speed when it goes somewhere else that isn't Faversham. So don't call it Faversham High Speed. Call it Faversham and then you get some high speed. I've got a, quite a serious letter to write after this stream. Blame Boris. Go to Faversham. Don't go to Faversham. Stay in Ebbsfleet. Don't stay in Ebbsfleet. Wear a mask. Hands, face, space. The final frontier. These are the voyages of a weird guy called Boris. The birthday's on Monday, the big 5-0. Oh dear. Sounds scary. Faversham, Faversham slightly slower speed. Yeah, exactly. I used to get in ProMods crashes. Nope. I am all good. Mine was by me reinstalling um, the Radian software. That's all I had to do a year ago, and that would have been fixed. Don't make the noises at me. Right, 60, and then we come into the Fabershams. I've got to get used to doing two hours. Shut up, I'm talking. I've got to get used to doing two hour streams again now. I was just in the getting in the uh, the zone of doing longer streams. Uh, yes, map zoom is a uh, an issue. There is a fix for that uh, in the Steam Workshop. Right, we are coming into Faversham. Oh yeah, uh, Rai Gamer guy, Rai guy. Uh, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to... I don't know what this is anymore. Train randomness. I don't know. A week ago w was a long travuk strism. Really? Okay. Glad to be here. All that feeling goes away. Trust me. 
just don't try and find the exit. Wait till tomorrow when we're in planes that most of us won't know how to fly. You're stuck here. There is no escape. There's an exit. No, there isn't an exit. It's been bricked up. We were never told. Some have escaped. Those people's names will never be mentioned. It's like Hotel California. <laughs> 20 months here and you feel yourself heading towards the loony hospital. Actually, I think I feel. I've been here bloody six years. <laughs> but they were caught and they were shot. <laughs> you will not escape. There is no escaping. That was a noise. Next stop, Whitstable, and then all stops to Ramsgate. Right, did you get bored of typing that or something? Alright, la uh, lane change? No, track change. And uh, yellow of the lights. Mildly moist. We have a 30. Yes, random flight stream tomorrow. And then what well, I'm sure will be a random farming stream on Friday. Uh, and then I still don't know what I'm going to do. I still don't know what I'm going to do on Saturday lunchtime. I'll think of something. Uh, Griff, thank you very much for that. Right gamer guy, you are definitely stuck now. Didn't know we had a German driver. Yeah. Uh, will, it, will it have music? Got oh, the random flight one. We may play some of the music tomorrow. You're never getting out now. If you try to escape, Crispy runs you over with a tractor that sounds like a rubber ducky. Yeah, and, th and that doesn't sound weird at all if you've never seen any of the, the farming streams. Crisp Crispy? Crispy runs over you with a tractor that sounds like a rubber ducky. That's just a whole sentence right there. German potato salad. I haven't done that in a while, have I? But I, yeah, there's nothing new, is there? He doesn't watch the streams. He only watches the ones he's in. She lock. She lock who? I was looking over there. Um, right. 6.7 miles to Sherlock Cox. Nope. Not doing it. Not, 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 not doing it. I've done Sherlock. I did do Sherlock. I did a video on it. I was going to do more, but no one watched the video, so I didn't bother. Your weekend name. Thought that was Margaret. Joan. Joan is your weekend name. Right, we're six miles from Whitstable, uh, where we're due to arrive at 10, nearly enough. Uh, then we've got uh, Chessfield and Swalecliff, Hearn Bay, Birchington on Sea, Westgate, Margate, Broadstairs, Dumpton and Ramsgate, in it. Yeah, it's actually a very good route, this one. As routes go, it's, it's a very one. Is there anybody else on the train? There's nobody else on the train. I am all alone.
no, I've got You Are Not Alone going around in my head now. Is that Michael Jackson? Dumpton. Hugh, Poo, uh, Hugh, Pew, Barley McGrew, Cuthbert, Dibble, Grub. With Windy Miller. I think he had a lot of sprouts. It's a bit rainy, isn't it? All by myself. You prefer Chigley, where you are quite old. That was before Trumpton, wasn't it? Rainy in England? I know. Shock horror. Hey, it's a massive one degrees C here at the moment. Yeah, that wasn't the bot uh, singer, that was Twitch. Pop quiz for the Stram. Okay. Who sung that? Uh, I can't remember actually. Oh god, I've got to do the slowing down thing soon. I'll we'll do it now, because early. Two miles from Whitstable. It's a place in Staffordshire called Moisty Lane. When's the quiz? When is the quiz happening then? What, the New Year's Eve quiz? That, that one. New Year's Eve, obviously. Can't have a New Year's Eve quiz, quiz not on New Year. I'm determined this year I'm going to get people here for New Year's Eve. We need a special stram. He's turning to Blinky next week for the quiz. Right, 50 limit coming up. And then a Whitstable. Keep head away from Swindon. Well, apparently he's, he doesn't drink anymore. I'm sure that won't last. You have Trent 19. Well, it'd be, it'd be Trent 22, surely. Yeah, you're old, Trent. Just, you're never going to be as old as, well, you will be as old as Blinky. But, actually, hopefully you'll get to be as old as Blinky. Eric Carmen. Ah, uh, really? Okay. Who was I thinking of then? Old and short. Don't put yourself down, Nico. We can't get much lower. <laughs> Blinky's young compared to me. Blinky's actually older than me. Trent's shorter. Blinky Wiz... Wiz... Wizessa. Wizessa? By much now, three years, I think. 
That's a word noise. Alright, and we're coming to Whitstable. Wiser. It's very squealy. Squealing like a puppy in a blender. Uh, let's stop down here somewhere. Wise? Me? No. Have you got the pig squillers? I did once after a good curry. Uh, open the doors. We have arrived in rainy Whitstable. Wh Whitstable? God, you got me at it. Whitstable. That rain is quite pleasant though. I do like a bit of rain. Who did the... There was a song, wasn't it? I can't stand the rain. Obviously it sounded better than that. Uh, Chestfield and Swalecliff. Uh, platform 2 is in 1.49 miles. Tina Turner. Rain by Dragon. Rawr. Because <laughs> that's what dragons sound like. <laughs> I'll see it be in the rain. <laughs> A moist, <laughs> moist dragon. <laughs> that pirate, that's R. There's a difference. See, it's rawr and R. See, it's different. <laughs> a soggy dragon. <laughs> I had one of those once. Didn't taste very nice. <laughs> a pint of soggy dragon, please. Rain by the Colt. She sells Sanctuary. No. No. Not like that, Trent. Totally different thing. Right, Chesterfield and Swalecliff. Or was it a, a glass of dry ice? To mimic smoke of a soggy dragon. Could be. Because we've all got dry ice lying around. I was down the dry ice aisle just the other day in, uh, in Tesco's. No, John's party trick is uh, baby elephant impressions. But we can't talk about those since the whole, you know, incident in the uh, safari park. Raindrops are falling on my moist dragon. Not really a lyric, is it? Raindrops are falling on my moist dragon. And I thought the whole stream yesterday with the whole Stonehenge and Aliens thing got weird. <sighs> okay. Might be part of the rap. My name is Dragon and I am Moist. Um, right, Chestfield and Swellcliff, Platform 2. Did a whole train actually... Yes, it did. It wouldn't be a stream without the randomness. I'm going to be sick because I did a stream, didn't I, with that awful bloody game, The Bus. 
uh, when it's first out. And I actually attempted to be serious and professional. It was really hard work. Maybe I should do that again one stream. I should try and you know be professional on a stream just to see how long I can last. Hern Bay is in platform two. No, no, no. We'll do that again. Hang on. We're just... Hern Bay, platform two, is in 2.19 miles. That's better. I've lost me. There it is. Haven't had the bus installed since June. I don't know when I last played it. Um, I'll scroll down to more, all my not installed games. Uh, there we know where it is. Where is it? Bus the uh, last played April twenty fifth, twenty twenty one. And will never be played again. You feel you have some sort of reputation. You do. Thought I liked the bus. Yeah. First impressions when it first released. Brilliant. Then it went rapidly downhill. A year later we got three buses, two routes. It's just not enough. I will never play it again. And we have got 1.5 miles to go now into Hern Bay. We finally got into Omsi. The bus will never be touched again unless a No Man's Sky type miracle happens. Yeah, just don't, just forget the bus. Omsi is the way. It's been like this. As much as in, in being serious for about 38 seconds. Uh, as much as I really do like Trains in World 2. And I do. Um, a lot more than I did when it first came out. Um, this will always be the winner for me. Purely because of the variety of routes. The length of routes. The variety of trains. There's a lot of free content. There's a lot of um, workshop content. Um, there's just so much to this compared to Trains in World 2. This will always be the winner. Uh, and I still completely disagree and no idea why it's there with the whole repairing fences thing, finding posters, selling ice creams, whatever the bloody hell you have to do. It's like, no, it's train sim. Don't do that. And to be honest, also, I would um i would have actually have liked it in train sim world 2 quite controversially this um if you didn't have the ability to get out of the train but have it so that you've got that graphical con that graphical experience but then they could put more into it uh, where do you get your routes and buses for the company for Omzi? Uh, by buying the routes and buses on Steam. You can't believe TML released the game too early. Again, I know. And it is, you know, and that is a good thing as well for Train Sim World 2. It's brilliant. And I really like it. I was chatting to someone at work today about MSFS. Uh, and he's going to toy with getting it on console um, and I like the fact that having these um, simulation games on console does get people into console gaming and that's an awesome thing it really it genuinely is um, and hopefully those people then realize that consoles aren't where you should be playing simulation games uh, and then they get a PC and then you play the better simulation games. But it's brilliant how there are more um, simulation stuff coming. That was good. There are more. There is more simulation stuff coming to console. I've never tried Train Sim World 2 on console. Uh, maybe I should. There's a comparison to see how it compares. 
that may be a thing for the future. The future's bright. The future's purple. Right, so here we are at Herne Bay, remembering what I was doing now. Uh, we've got some stock. Then we've got uh, the, Bur the Birchington on Sea. Uh, then, the I was clicking a thing, bear with me. Birchington on Sea, then Westgate on Sea, Margate, Broadstairs, Dumpton Park, and Ramsgate. She's down there. The future's so bright, I gotta wear shades. Uh... I use keyboard or mouse. And one of the best bits of kit that I bought, extremely inexpensive. And if, like me, you've got a setup, which anybody hasn't seen my setup tour video, I should do another one this year, actually, because things have changed. Um, I keep my steering wheel on my desk. So my steering wheel is directly in front of me now. Behind my steering wheel is my keyboard, which is also under a little shelf. So I can't actually see my keyboard. So what I've got to the left of my steering wheel is a gaming keypad which has got WS and D keys on it, numbers 1 to 6, F1 to 5 on it, uh, spacebar, tab, shift, control, escape, all on that, about 15 quid on Amazon. So that sits under my left hand. Uh, so I use that for just WS and D, for increasing and decreasing the throttle, uh, engaging and disengaging the um, uh, forward and reverse. I also use a key changer, which changes the default brake uh, increase and decrease um, keys to R and P so, because they're on my gaming keypad so they're right next to the uh, W, S and D so yeah if, if anybody like me has not got their keyboard in front of them I can highly recommend getting a gaming keypad because you, you, your wrist rests on it perfectly your hand just sits on it on top of the W, S and D keys uh, a really brilliant and cheap investment so that's all I've ever used for these sorts of games or any game where I'm using WS and D to move around you want to be able to tell people you live in Dumpton I want to move to Roy Bridge sounds like a smart setup uh, yeah I, I wouldn't watch my, if, if you don't like wires I wouldn't watch my my setup tour video I have no room around me Behind my keyboard is a shelf. On top of that shelf is the keyboard to the streaming PC. To the right of my steering wheel is my mouse, which has about a six inch gap between the mouse and the gear shifter for the G27. To the right of that and touching that is the throttles for the flight. Above that is the mixing desk. To the right of that is the um, audio compressor. Uh, to my left hand, I've got the farm panel. The other side of the farm sim panel is the Hotas joystick. I have literally no space to put anything on my desk and my desk's eight foot long. And there are a few wires. Wires going in. Wires going out. You saw a sneak peek when I showed off my Jilly Babies during the stream. Uh, check out the uh, uh, the tour video. It actually gives a tour of all my tech. Uh, all my old tech as well in the recent one. I must do another one. Because what's new? The farm sim panel's new. Uh, I think I didn't have my new mixing desk. Then. So I need to find room for another screen because I've only got the five around me. That's just not enough. Anyway, five miles from uh, Birchington on Sea. Oh, they're, they're still behind me on the floor. Is two brand new 27 inch monitors I bought two years ago. I bought four. I got two out of the boxes. There's two still sat in boxes behind me. Uh, what compressor do I use? It's a. Alesis uh, 3632 that I don't actually run through uh, Discord does uh, but I don't uh. 
Yeah, I used to run through it, but my uh, uh, mixer's got a built-in compressor as well. Although I do want a new microphone. I have been looking at microphone uh, reviews, but there's so much choice of mics out there. I don't know what to get. Right, four miles from Bergington on sea. I I don't think it sounds as rich as my old one. Uh, I do sense some clipping occasionally. Where my old one didn't clip as much. But I think that's just maybe my headphones I'm clipping in. Yeah, my audio mixer is a Behringer 1622 USB, F FX USB, something or other. Because I use, what, how many inputs? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six inputs when I'm streaming. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, no, six inputs when I'm streaming. When I've got idiots in voice for me anyway. Anyway. Let's talky techie. We're still three miles from Birchington. Oh, these wobble well, users are close together, aren't they? Oh, I've done a thing now. I'll reset track IR, but well, I'll sat farther back. There we go. So we were due to arrive in purchasing at 10.16. We're going to arrive at 10.21. That's fine. It's a couple of minutes late. It's all good. It's all groovy, baby. Or gravy, baby. I've also got three flight sim panels by the side of me that I've never really reconnected. I should do that actually because they are cool to use in flight sim. But I thought that was what was crashing my flight sim. The radio panel, the autopilot panel and the switch panel. I should reconnect those back up. We haven't had that many trains coming the other way. Uh, never on time are you in any game? Yeah. Oh, a little bit. I like to chill. I'm not here to, I'm not, you know, we're in a plus in the school. What more do you want? People used to complain about how I drove in some of the, like, firm bus and stuff. Oh, you drive like an idiot. Yeah, and? Your, your point there is what? There's taking a simulation seriously and there's taking it seriously. There are people out there, and I'm sure there are people out there, that will be in this and will treat it as a proper simulation. Probably won't have the HUD up down the bottom. Will adhere to all the speed limits. Will adhere to the, the W boards. You know, we'll stop in the correct place and fair play to them. You know, I, I love the fact that you can be that accurate with simulation stuff. I don't do it like that. You bought the radio panel on the AP panel. If I was if I was going to sell, sell where, 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 there were words. If I was going to say, excuse me, if I was going to say to someone uh, to buy one panel for flight sim, it would be the autopilot panel because that makes the whole flying experience so much better. And yeah, if you can get them on sale, bargain. The radio one's a bit... Hmm. I wish there was a fourth one because the three, they can't really put three very well together.
No, I saw one the other day. I saw a video on one. It looked really good. I can't remember what it's called though. It was basically, it was a yoke uh, that had the throttle bit built into the side of it. But the bottom of the throttle bit had the pull out knobs for use in like the Cessna. But at the top of it had the throttle controls for use with a jet. And it was just fixed to the side of the um, the yoke. It was really smart. I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> Which is useful, I know, at this point. I'd love the honeycomb yoke. Well, I'd love the honeycomb throttle. I don't fly with a yoke. I fly with a joystick. I've got room for yokes. My steering wheel's here. Um, but I just need a lot of money for the throttle. I quite like... I've got the little Logitech... Uh, throttle quadrant thing the, the little three levers on it's fine it does uh, the job uh, I can't remember what it's called I can look back through my YouTube history which is quite random uh, and see what it was called uh, Westgate on Sea platform 1 is in 1.74 miles does anybody actually need the point four? Really? It's like, if you ask for directions... Excuse me, mate. Uh, which way is Westgate on Sea? Oh, it's about a mile and a half that way. Thanks very much. You're not going to go back and punch the guy in the face, are you? If, if it actually turns out to be 1.74 miles. Why Why is it got to be that precise? Right, complaint. No, no, sorry. It was 1.78 miles. I'm going to write a letter. You got it wrong. If anybody ever gives directions or gives you directions, n no man will ever ask for directions because we just wouldn't. And nowadays you've got to do it less anyway because you've got a phone on you with Google Maps. But back in the day, you know, I've had to do it in central London uh, in the past when I was motorcycle couriering, um, stop and ask someone for directions. And they'll tell you some directions. And I guarantee you, after the second thing they've told you, you're not paying any attention anymore. Because they'll say, right, yeah, down to those lights turn left uh, and then second turning on the left down the end of that road turn right then to the lights turn left and it's down there you'll get to the lights you'll turn left and then you'll go did he say the second turning on the left or the first turning on the left and that's it you've forgotten I still love it I spent a lot of time in Birmingham uh, during my late teens and early 20s because I'm only 22 now. And people would quite often stop and ask for directions. I'd just send them somewhere. Because I didn't have a clue where I was. Let alone where they wanted to go. Oh yeah, yeah. It's, it's down there. Over the next roundabout. Turn right. Because <laughs> you do. Because they think you're walking around. You know, they think you're local. Postman. Always ask a postman. I've done that in villages as well. Trying to find an address in a village. Ask the postman. Ah, velocity one. That rings a bell. Yes, that does ring a bell. Yeah, because it had like a little round thing on the side. And it had the pull out knobs for the Cessnas. As well as then the normal uh, throttle things on the top. It looked really cool. If you can find a postman. The only negative I could see on the video I watched is it had a detent in the yoke. Um, which isn't good. But I, I've got room for a yoke. It's just a decent throttle quadrant I want. Right. Westgate on C. Because years ago I wanted the, um, the train sim ping control train sim thing rail driver whatever it's called but it doesn't work with all trains and apparently they're a pain so i didn't bother <coughs> yeah it's a trim wheel. yeah but the um the honeycomb uh throttle quadrant's got the trim wheel on it as well isn't it oh we might have overshooted that slightly we're okay 
they can get off down this end, it's fine. Yeah, they can get out from some of the doors. I'm quite liking this rain. I can't stand the rain on my windows. Margate. Got like Margate. Been to Margate a few times. And Ramsgate. Used to get the Sally Line ferries from Ramsgate. Yeah, I, th I think the honeycomb is the one that I'll end up with at some point. But I definitely haven't got room for it at the moment. Because directly behind where my little Logitech one is, is the shelf with the audio mixer on. So I haven't got room to put it. I have to move the audio mixer and that in itself is an issue. Did I find the gate in Ramsgate? Yeah, got to get the ram in. No, no, there's noodles. Ramen. That's ramen. But it's spelled ramen. I don't think anybody will be going on the Dreamland rise today at Margate. I think the seafront will be a bit, uh, a bit lacking. I do use rudder pedals. Uh, Thrustmaster rudder pedals I've got. And they are brilliant. Yeah, he's rudder pedals, the Logitech um, throttle quadrant, and I've got a uh, Thrustmaster Warthog joystick. Which is very nice. Nine inches and... No, I'm not going to say it. Uh, right. Slowing down. Oh, and Link, uh, Blinky's uh, linked the uh, Velocity 1. But yeah, I, uh, I do think it's going to be the Thrustmaster, no, Thrustmaster, the Honeycomb is the one I'm going to end up with. <laughs> See, I think whoever did that uh, Yorkshire County's map, there needs to be another announcement before you get to the end saying that they found the child. To tell the driver to stop looking. Why haven't someone done that? Someone contact the game developer and say what that's what you need to do before the end of that route you need to put out another announcement to go yeah all drivers all drivers uh, child has been found safe and well uh, returned to his parents that's it that's what you got to do because i was worried i lost days of sleep after first driving that route there's the uh, ferris has every town got a bloody ferris wheel in it now Did you find a black bag? See? No, that wasn't found either. The blue shot. Yeah, don't... Uh, don't take shots of uh, blue paint. Right, so here's Margate. Uh, we've got uh, Broadstairs, Dumpton Park and uh, Ramsgate to go. And then we will end... Well, the Millennium Wheel was only supposed to be temporary. That's been there, uh, what, 20 years now? 22 years now. Uh, right, Broadstairs. 3.21 uh, of the miles. I still haven't been on it. Millennium. I'm to Robbie Williams. What's he doing now? There's a sea. I see the sea.
whatever he likes. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I prefer using a joystick. I know it's not realistic. Some of the, the planes you fly have got yokes. Uh, but for my setup, keeping the joystick, well, there, well, you can see that, uh, the other side of my uh, farm sim panel, when I fly, the only thing I've got to do is unplug the, the wheels and plug in the um, rudder pedals. That's it. Everything else stays exactly where it is. Having to take the steering wheel off and put a yoke on just to fly. Or be like one of the weirdos we've got. Uh, I did just point. Uh, be like one of the weirdos we've got. That in front of one of his screens, he has a yoke permanently. In front of the other one of his screens, he has a steering wheel permanently. Yet he only flies once a week. Why would you do that? Not saying who that is. But they like the colour green. Right, broad stairs, uh, two miles to go. So it's Dylan then. Uh-huh. So yes, we'll end this when we get to uh, where we're ending up. Margate? Ramsgate. I reckon it's John. Uh, John is disappointed we're not doing uh, grapes anymore on the farm because he was going to be out there sucking them. And the grapes, indeed. Right, broad stairs coming up. Did you have a whine about it? Uh, that was bad. But also quite good. John! <laughs> He's obviously talking about the fruit. <laughs> Obviously. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I was young, it was dark. Right, into broad stairs. As opposed to narrow stairs. great line this is actually it's actually really enjoyable it would be even more enjoyable if they were diesels but we can't have everything three two one zero <laughs> have some lunch if you're hungry well there's an offer John will be on the next flight out It is definitely a bit rainy. That was also a noise. Right, Dumpton Park coming up next. <laughs> Moving.
What, closer to the airport? So yeah, graphically... Um, I know this isn't as good as Train Sim World 2. But it just, I don't know, it just... It's a bit like the OMSI thing, isn't it? It's, it's not about the graphics. It's about the audio and the immersion and the roots. You've got to just disregard the graphics. Um, I just really enjoy it. Even if you've got to sit outside the drain. It's, this way isn't bad, in all fairness, being inside. Sometimes it's nice inside. I did say the same about X-Plane. And for those in the Discord, can someone please uh, say to Ed, after his post in the farming chat in the Discord, that he obviously didn't strap them down. It'll make sense if you see the post in the farming chat. I think his friend Jack must have strapped them down. If you're on the Discord, join the Discord. Awesome one. Everyone's telling him. He claimed he did strap them down. He's basically strapped some flour to a pallet. He claims strapped them down. Driven off and the pallet of strapped flour has stayed there. Which means he's quite clearly not strapped it down. Speaking of flight sim, will that be the main content for Fridays on YouTube? No. Uh, join the Discord for Pina's Gourmet Cooking. Oh, please say he hasn't posted some food. No, he hasn't, thank God. Uh, Fridays, uh, when, on a Monday on YouTube for this year, um, alternating the weeks, we will be OMSI. So every fortnight will be an OMSI now. There may be some weeks where I'll, if there's something new to do, or I'll decide to do a route, you might get an extra one. Wednesdays will be train sim. That's, that's not going anywhere. Fridays, uh, I'm going to use for a stream from the previous week. So it might be something I've done on single player on Saturday. It might be a flight one. It might be an extra train sim one. Um, it might be uh, a trucking one. So one of the streams in the previous week will go out on a Friday. If I get something new to look at, that will go out on the, on the Sunday. Uh, purely because this year um, I'm focusing on Twitch rather than uh, YouTube. Thing is, farm sim's a strange one. Streaming farm sim, people love it. It's really enjoyable. I really oh, enjoy it. Yeah. Uh, community love it. It's getting. It's quite relaxing to watch. It's really popular, but YouTube hates it, and it's just. It's really strange. Uh, like flight, you guys like flight. It's really relaxing. It gets quite random. Uh, YouTube hates it, which is why my focus. I'm just giving up on YouTube. Basically, I'm still gonna put content on there. Uh, but nothing new. I'd rather do new stuff on here and have it fail. And, uh, you know, between us, we can decide something's rubbish. Rather, rather me think it's good. And then YouTube go, nah, don't like that. Uh, Mystic the Gamer, uh, 06. Uh, thank you very much for the follow. YouTube is weird. So yeah, I used to spend a lot of time at the weekends creating content for YouTube, uh, which I used to enjoy doing. Um, but I'd rather have spend that time, uh, not necessarily streaming, but um, not getting myself to a point where I get fed up with games. So, uh, which is why Twitch is my main focus. What streams do I do? Uh, well, tonight is Train Sim, tomorrow night is Flight, Friday night is Farming. Saturday lunchtime is something single player. Saturday night is trucking. 
Sunday afternoon is more farming. Uh, Tuesdays uh, alternating. One week will be OMSI. The other week will be American Truck Sim. Interactivity, there's a word, is the reason I'd say. I guess it's more fun to get involved in the bants on here than to take a more passive role. Yeah, I, I love the the banter i love the conversation uh i love the interaction um that you don't get with youtube you don't get with um just creating something and then just sitting back and waiting because you can't get that live interaction here you get that and that's what makes this awesome and that's what's making it more enjoyable and you're all mad that's the other bonus and I love the fact we're getting new people that are um, watching the streams, getting involved in the streams. It's great to see regular people coming back again. Because you've got to be a certain kind of odd to come back to this. Um, and it's good we're getting more people um, this side as well. It's been awesome to have this extra, and as, as much as the youngsters that have been uh, joining in with the streams for the last 18 months uh, have been slated by some. Um, they've brought a certain energy to some of the streams um, and it's I love the fact that we got that good balance between the youngsters uh, bringing their energy sometimes and their I love the fact that their innocence if that's a word the fact they don't know anything is hilarious um, and the fact that they can also be in the same stream as someone who's nearly at a pensionable age like Ed and again, that's the awesome thing about simulation gaming. It's not about... Age doesn't matter. Age is just a number. It's the fact we all love this. That's the key thing. And Blinky's quite old, of course. So, yeah, I uh, I love the fact that the um, you guys watching keep me going. Uh, and, and that's key for me. The more you interact, the more you get involved, the more odd I seem to get. I'm not sure if that's a good thing. Anyway, we have arrived at Ramsgate. The end of the line. Yeah, and you soon realise, Griff, that, you know, I've had my Call of Duty times... Um, but I've always enjoyed Train Sim. I've been playing for years. Um, you know, I used to play 18 Wheels of Steel, American Trucker, before a long time before ETS came out. Uh, the early iterations of Flight Sim, you know, the Settlers, love the original Settlers, Transport Tycoon, you know, those sorts of games I've always liked. Um, I love the fact that we've got these sorts of games now. It just truly is awesome. Well done, driver. You've arrived on time. Have a brew and we'll get ready for your next service later on today. I will have a brew. I shall be going having a brew in a moment and a couple of chocolate digestives because that's how I roll. There we go. <laughs> yeah, cheers, CK. Thanks for the host. Don't forget to take the moist dragon to bed. <laughs> well, there's a... Uh, you're joining just at the end, Ryan. Uh, there we go, then. Uh, actually, I've got to say, that really is a really good line. Um, it's... I really, really... That's one I'd actually like to do all the scenarios on. And there's a few. Okay, we've got the rail fan things, which are really weird. A couple of small ones. Uh, 15 minute, 35 minute, 38 minute, 46 minute. The one that we did was 47 minutes. So we've done those first two. Um, and then you've got an 80 minute in the 375. You've got a 92 minute in the 395. Um, so there are quite a number of scenarios uh, for that. So it's a really good, uh, really good route. Obviously, you've also got the chat and main line, which you've done some in. And um, we've got the chat and main um, uh, Medway Valley lines, which you've done some in. I don't think we've got as many. Clinchfield Railroad, I've done nothing in. East Coast Main Line, none of those. Um, on a few of that one. Five Circle Line, that's like, that's really good. Uh, that's German. Uh, London to Ipswich, I haven't done many of those, look. 
Hamburg to Lübeck. The Kyle line. The Kyle line's good. I do like the Kyle line. That's really good. So we've got plenty of stuff to do going forward. Um, lots to do. Anyway. Chatham Mainline Wednesday. Now next week we'll have a look at some trains in World 2. I said there is one of the ones there that I've done nothing on. Um, so uh, we will uh, we'll have a look at that uh, next week. Because that's one we just done. There we go. Uh, so there we are. Next stream then is back tomorrow night with some idiots uh, in some planes in America. That can only uh, end well, can't it? Providing I can actually start the plane. Uh, so thanks to you lot for keeping me company uh, for the last couple of hours. Uh, indeed, more trains back next Wednesday. And yes, flight tomorrow. Uh, no one in voice to thank, so that's good. Um, we will uh, then do the uh, the thing. Is it working? What's going on? Why isn't it working? Why aren't you working? Work. Hang on. That one. This one. We'll try that again. Am I going to do it the old-fashioned way now? And my credit's not working. My credit's not working. No, it don't work. Anyway, uh, just some northerner. Thanks very much for the follow. Uh, Mystic Gamer, thank you for the follow. Griff, uh... Thanks for gifting a sub to Rygamer Guy. Uh, and Griff, thanks for subscribing yourself. Cryptic uh, subscribed. Uh, CK uh, raided. Uh, thank you very much for that. And KT followed. So thanks to um, Dylan, Blinky, and Nightbot for doing some no moderating at all. And some other people for doing some other things. I don't know why that's broken. Uh, there we go. Back. <laughs> Back to... Such a professional somewhere. Back tomorrow night then for some flights. Until then, if you have been, thanks very much for watching. <laughs>